our chicken run door is thick and sturdy not some flimsy little flap it's nice old sturdy barn wood at the top I have a motion detector sunlight here's a little sensor here I think that light might have been about twenty dollars and we brought our wire on over top we did not stop at the edge on the other side to give a little extra durability we brought it over we used some staples to reinforce but we use screws with the little plastic caps they're not expensive you can get a handful of them for maybe a dollar some will break but it does help to hold the wire in place much better as you can see our latch here is a two-step latch you don't want just some little flip hook like you might have on a on a basket or a laundry room type door in your house because raccoons can and will open a one-step lock you want something that requires a little bit of effort not too loose and on our door we also wrapped around the same hardware cloth up much taller in case there's ever a gap ground shifts we have a lot of mud here during the winter and spring then things harden up the pole can shift we did not ever want there to be a gap that would be large enough for a mink to get through or a chick to find its way out we use t-post that were seven foot tall also very thick sturdy latches to make sure also again the door doesn't sag the pole doesn't sag too much and we do not have a top on our run because like i said we free range the birds are not in here all the time we just have a dog box in there that gives them protection from the sun and the wind um, if it was winter time and we were having birds quarantined or chicks there's a little door that leads them right into the coop and they would be in there and come out when weather permitted and for limited amounts of time i don't do the dust to dawn solar doors i'm always afraid they might not work somebody might get trapped out because they were lollygagging we might get a predator that sneaks in while the door is open during the day when they free range your chickens are in a run all the time they can get bored and peck at each other relentlessly and just really get very fussy with you with each other and harm each other um, because we do not have chicks in here or chickens for a very long time I didn't do a lot of chicken boredom busters there are some really cool fun ones if you keep your chicks in captivity I just used an old sawhorse and took a little furring strip and put it across the top to give them somewhere to roost and they must have worked their board off of there over time but I used some old baling twine made a swing little perch swing they like that and a little metal wood tree my husband had give them another extended perch so just give them some things to occupy their time with so they do not get bored and start plucking their own feathers or fighting with each other the run attaches to our coop and we have three boards we have the wire pulled across all three and nailed and hammered in firmly there's a little bit of sagging on top we did not want to be too taut that way it could catch in the wind more and any little movement on it could tear it so we let it be just a little bit floppy it's nice and firm and doesn't sag you know too much I can walk under it without a problem but it's not so taut that it might just it might just catch in the wind or catch on a goat's horn or something like that and really pull it off it gives just enough that I think it makes it a little bit safer we also attach the top of the coop which is just made of wood with more thick strips they're oak and locust strips that we cut from some lumber on the property and it's very simply it took a day to build it may have taken a little bit of the next day because of all the trenching involved it was a Saturday afternoon to Sunday noon type of a project it didn't take very long it was not expensive my husband called the Fort Knox a chicken coops and runs and it keeps everybody safe on the inside of the door I also have a latch just one of those little flip latches that I said don't put on the outside that way if I'm going in and working with a bird that's sick or working with chicks I don't have to worry about the door sliding back open behind me and somebody getting out or getting in that's not supposed to